What's going on, people? Sean Pierce Johnson here back again at Winter Nam 2020, standing here with the one, the only, the legendary Mr. Thorpey himself. Buddy, Hi, dude. it's great to see you again. Good to see you. So you guys kind of came out the gate last year working with Dan Coggins on the deep boggin. Yep. That was a really nice treat to hear, seeing him bring some of his designs into the pedal world again. Yep. How have you guys evolved from where you were this time last year to now? Well, we've just been doing more of our collaborative working. So we always knew that once we'd done the deep hogging that we wanted to do a flanger, but it'd been in the works for a little while. So this over the 2019, we concentrated on doing the camouflage and um, we released that in November with that pedal show and that went crazy. Uh, that, went o that went over pretty well. Yeah, we were over the moon. I mean, yeah, we couldn't have hoped for a better response, really. That's good. Yeah. That's what you want to hear. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, when you work that hard on something and you, and you always have doubts, oh, have I done it right? Have I could have done this? But, you know, sitting down with Dan um, Steinhardt to, to play it, it was really clear that he absolutely loved it. And the feedback we're getting from customers, uh, well, we're back ordered for a long time, so it's great. <laughs> It seems like they did their job. So where are we at now with, you've got the camouflage out, what's new this year? Okay, so new for Nam yeah. is we've decided to have a look at the old boutique pedals that uh, were, well, they're very collectible, so things like the Big Cheese, the Brown Sauce, and then the rest of that line. And essentially what we're trying to do is make them firstly available to everyone, not just collectors. They are vastly in a huge stratosphere price range that players like me would never be able to afford. Most players can't. Most of them. Yeah. So the idea was to, rather than just revisit that line, we what we decided to do is look at it, enhance it, and re-release it under a Thorpey brand. And here we are. So we've got two for Nam. The rest are coming. Awesome. So a little bit of love for the Thorpey line. What are these pedals called? So the first one is the Field Marshal, which is very cheesy, a big cheesy. <laughs> uh, so it's, a, it's essentially a big cheese plus. Um, essentially, you capture all that DNA of the old one, but left and right of art, you've got a lot more sounds within it. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one is the Bunker, which is brown. And uh, again, same sketch, you know, taking what was good from the old brown sauce and just changing it up and you've left and right of art, you've got so much more available. Make it a pedal that today's player would be able to like have no qualms about putting on their pedal board. Absolutely, I mean, we've shrunk them. So the originals are like this big. Yeah. So they're smaller. They they work better with modern, modern amplifiers as well. They've got a lot more volume on tap. You can have a number of sounds, like foot switchable, so yeah. I wouldn't by, be doing my pedal nerds justice if I didn't ask one question. Yeah. Since you're delving into that lovely world, do you foresee any of the more strange options from that line being maybe doing the Thorpey spin on? Yeah, all of them. So we, there's no, there is literally no point in, well, in my mind anyway, uh, just rinsing and repeating. What we, what we do is take what was good and enhance upon it. So there is a, as you'll see, these do more than the originals and the, there's a reason for that. And they're, e they're EQ'd ever so slightly different as well. All right, well, let's take a listen to a couple of these new pedals. <coughs>
That's the new stuff from Thorpey. How far out are the new, the newer ones, the new for Nam pedals? Uh, about a month and a half. Okay. I've got to get back to the UK and start building. Yeah. You're a long ways away from home, so I don't want you to make too many promises. <laughs> well, absolutely. No, but we've got it in our timeline. So I think probably end, of, probably end of March. I think is, is realistic. Not available. Most likely March. That's the new. That's the new one. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show some love, show some support. Click the subscribe button, ring the bell, turn on the notifications, and come back for more. For Mr. Thorpey himself and the Thorpey crew, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, wishing you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers, friends.